Good morning, happy Saturday. I hope you guys are doing wonderful. My name is Danielle and today is going to be my Weight Watchers update. So Saturdays is my weigh-in day. Let me tell you guys. So this is like super casual guys. I just kind of grab the camera, grab my phone, and just get down to it. So today is going to be my fifth week on Weight Watchers. So it's my fifth weigh-in and I did have a loss this week. Thank God. It was a very small loss considering I feel like I did really good. I did lose 0.4. I was hoping for more. I'm not going to lie. I was really good on my eating. I worked out four days this week. Uh, Tuesday, I did 20 minutes of cardio with 20 minutes of weight training. Wednesday, I did 40 minutes of cardio. Friday, I did 30 minutes of cardio. And then this morning, I did another 25 minutes of cardio before my weigh-in. So, yeah. I was expecting a lot more. At least a pound. So, it's... Nonetheless, it's kind of hard not to get discouraged because, like, I want to see the scale move just like everybody else. You know, that's why I joined. That's why I paid this money because I want to lose the weight. But I guess slow and steady will win the race. I'm not going to beat myself up about it. I'm just going to just keep on keep it on. I did take my measurements this morning after I did my weigh-in and I was actually really happy um, with my measurements. So let me see. My hips were 42 inches, my waist was 33 and a half inches, and my chest was 37 inches. So I will insert somewhere on the screen here um, what the overall, if there was any loss in inches. I don't remember what mine were last week. It's rough, guys. It's rough because I hate being a prisoner of the scale. I hate, you know, just focusing my success on a number. That really kills me. But, you know, this is what I got to do. What I feel like I did great this week, I said I did really good with my cardio. I did not get my water in like I usually do. I did have some pop this week because we had it and, you know, it was on sale. So I've been drinking a lot of pop. Definitely need to improve that. I still have, you know, my GI issues. I'm always going to have GI issues. I'm, you know, I got IBS with constipation. So I know it's kind of TMI, but this is what happens. So, you know, I feel like if I would have, you know, maybe had some better bathroom days, it would have been more of a, a loss. But to itself, I have um, some products coming in this coming week. And I'm hoping I will um, see a uh, improvement with them. I'll keep you guys updated when they come in. Uh, it just kind of pisses me off. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I did go ahead and I did Weight Watchers Connect and I chatted with a lady because I want to know like why I feel like I see everybody losing two, three, four, five pounds a week and I'm like stuck. Either the scale is not moving or it's like a smidge moving. And the lady was super great. She like looked at my stuff and she's like, you know what? You're doing great. It's just sometimes you just don't see it in the numbers. But I feel like my midsection is getting smaller. I feel like you can tell a little bit in my face. Um, I definitely feel like I could see like my collarbones coming out. So I definitely think that is, you know, I feel like my jacket's a little bit bigger. Um, my clothes are fitting nicer. I feel good. I feel really good. So that's what I should focus on, not the number. Focus on how you feel, not the number, Danielle. Just got to keep chanting that in my head. But um, my plan of attack, you know, each week I go in with a plan of attack and what I think I can do better. So this week, um, I know people have suggested to me the Miralax and to take that. So I've been taking that like every other day. And honestly, guys, it takes a few days for Marilax to work, and I feel like those days before it works, I get super bloated, and it's just uncomfortable. So I think I'm going to uh, lay off that. I think maybe I'll try like a Metamucil and see if that works better. So I'm going to do that. Uh, with my meals, I am really good about, you know, calculating everything and weighing stuff out and being really diligent on what ingredients I put in my meals for me and my family. But when I put it into the recipe tracker, 
I always put like five. I say, oh, it's a serving of five because there's five of us in my family. There's, I know damn well that we're not all getting the same amount. And so either I'm not eating all my points or I'm eating too many points. So when I go to cook this week, this is what my plan is. After I make my meals, I'm going to weigh out it in its entirety, unless I do like, you know, individual things where I can control it. But if it's like a pot of pasta or a soup or whatever the case may be, I'm going to weigh it out and see how many grams that is. And then I'm going to divide it. So I have a more of a better idea of what the serving size is, because I'm thinking that I'm not getting enough points. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that I'm over estimating the portion size and I'm not eating it enough. And that, you know, I know from years of, you know, trying to lose weight that eating not enough is just as bad as eating too much. So I think that's gonna, I'm gonna try that out this week and I'm gonna see how that goes. And I think I'm probably, and I know for a fact that I'm gonna see um, a change because, and then maybe I won't be like hungry and I won't nibble on like fruit and stuff. I'm getting really good with the fruit. I did have quite a few bananas this week. That's probably not helping out. Um, so I'm not gonna buy any bananas this week. That's it. We're not gonna do that. And I have been doing frozen fruit, so I should probably wash that too. It's just, the fruit is so good, you know? I just I love it. But it is carb loaded and it is nature's candy. So, um, I know with my uh, womanly cycle, um, it was not that time of the month, but it was another time of the month. So I know I do tend to gain a little bit during, um, you know, mid cycle. So I'm going to be a little bit lenient on myself with that. As far as working out, I think I'm doing really good. I'm enjoying it again. I'm being more consistent. So I think that's a really good perk for me right now. I'm going to keep that up. I'm going to for sure monitor this water. I have to get this water in. I have to better it because I know that my body responds way better when I have the water. So that for sure is going to improve this week. And I'm going to do that with the meals because I really think I'm not getting enough points in because I know what my serving size looks like compared to like my husband's or the kids. And it's just not making sense. Like it's, I, I need to improve that. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to weigh out everything on the scale see how much it is, then I'm going to divide it so I have an exact amount of what a serving size should be. So, do you guys do that? Like, how do you guys determine your serving size when you create recipes? Because I, I, I just do five, and I know I don't put enough, I don't put the same amount on my plate that I do my husband's or the girl's. So, I'm gonna do that. I did it this week, we did have pasta this week, and I put all the pasta in, and I divided it that way because I'm still so scared of carbs. So I think, I'm going to do that from now on, and I think it'll be a better better idea of what I'm supposed to get. Uh, as far as, I mean, I'm doing really well. I've been eating all my points, and um, I've been, you know, I also, though, going back to this week, you guys know um, my birthday had just passed this last weekend, so I weighed in a day early. I weighed in on Friday. Friday, I ate horrendous because, you know, I was downtown, and we ate, and we drank, so I didn't care. Saturday, we went to Hibachi Grill, and I mean, I really tried to um, make the better choices, and I think I did, but I did eat, like, noodles and rice, so that's probably not the best. So I kind of almost had two cheat days this week, I'm trying to, do, and then Sunday, I was good. So I think I overindulged Friday, Saturday, and then I wasn't the best with I'm telling you, i telling you, I almost can guarantee you I'm not eating as many points as I should. I'm a lot of 23 per day, and I'm using them, but I just can't imagine the meals being right. But I'm happy with the way I feel. I'm happy with my midsection. Um, I did have three kids. I do carry some weight in my belly, so I feel that's better. Um, I'm still working on my digestive issues. This is a lifelong issue for me, guys. It's chronic. Um, some weeks are better than others. It's just something I'm going to have to work on. I, uh, like I said, I have some products coming in the mail this week that, you know, I've been told um, from some friends of mine that they work really well. So I went ahead and I placed an order and uh, it's supposed to help. I'm hoping. I'm going to try and with these, um, I'm doing really good with my creamers, with my coffee. I'm wondering if it's the artificial syrups and pop that are really bloating me up too because I know a lot of people say artificial sugars really mess up their stomach. 
So I'm wondering if that's my issue, if that's been my lifelong issue, because when I have pop, I love it. I will drink a case if I can. I mean, it's Coke Zero, it's, it's free, but I drink the hell out of it. Like, I love it. So I need to limit myself because I know it's not good. I know that. And even in my water, I do like uh, drop-ins and those have artificial sugar in them and like aspartame. So I'm wondering if all those things together are just messing me up. Do you guys have those issues? Let me know. Uh, okay, so that's it. I was a 0.4 loss. So that brings my grand total weight loss to 7.4 pounds in five weeks. Uh, my inches, I, I feel better, I feel good, I feel happier with the way I can eat, I feel it's way less restrictive. If someone would say, hey Danielle, you've been doing this for a month and, you know, what do you prefer, Weight Watchers or Keto? I would still go with Weight Watchers, 100%. I feel like it's just healthier not to overindulge in so much fat. I feel like it's more a more realistic way of eating and I feel like I can live a normal life on Weight Watchers is what the ultimate goal was for me anyways. So, yeah, that's pretty much my update. I'm gonna keep on keeping on. And uh, yeah, each each week I'm just, you know, I want the inches. I know that inches matter. That's what's gonna make the clothes look better. That's what's gonna make me feel better. That's, the, that's what people see. So I need to remember that. Do not focus your life on a scale. Do not focus your life. You do not focus your life on a scale, even though Weight Watchers kind of makes you do it, but it's all about the, all the other things. So this week, we're going to kick butt. We're going to take names later, all that good stuff. You guys got it. You're wonderful. I know you guys are killing it, and I'm here for you. Um, each week is not always going to be the best week, and each week, you know, it's hard to stay motivated sometimes. But you guys keep me motivated, you keep me honest, and I appreciate that. So I hope I'm doing the same for you. And take care of business this week, guys. You got it. You're wonderful. I love all you babes out there. I know you guys are doing great. And um, yeah, what are your goals this week? How did you guys do? Am I like the only one that's like the scale is just barely wanting to move? Maybe it's the phase of the moon. I know they're saying that the moon really caused some crazy stuff this week. So maybe we'll go with that. But anyways, I will see you next week on our other weekly weigh-in. I got some good videos coming your way this week. I got some cleaning videos, some Weight Watchers videos, all types of stuff. All the goodies. But all right, I'm going to go put my face on because I just want to feel better today because I was kind of bummed with the scale. And I'm not going to let it defeat me. All right, guys. I will see you later. If you guys are new here, please subscribe and stay on this journey with me. Let's do this together. Let's get our summer bods ready now together because the summer girls, I want to be comfortable in my bathing suits. I want to lay out at the pool. I want to lay out in the backyard and get some sun and uh, just feel confident in a pair of shorts and a tank top. That's all I want. It's the little things in life. But all right. I will see you next week. Thanks guys for watching and have a great week. You got this. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. You got this. This week is yours. All right, guys. See you later.